Since its introduction in 2010, Note Package Manager aka NPM has made one of the most if not the most drastic change to the world of web development. Furthermore, aside from bringing a huge variety in terms of dependencies and modules to the scene, it has also made a big impact on developers' workflow, and I'm talking about tooling and dev dependencies here more precisely. As you may know, dev dependencies are not front-end libraries, neither back-end frameworks, but they are actually tools that a developer uses to make their work easier and less time-consuming, and also produce cleaner and more performant code. A couple of dev dependencies that have been used by millions of developers are bundlers and task runners, and that's what we are going to discover in this video. At the time of its creation, JavaScript was intended to be a designing tool that adds interactivity to web pages. So, although the creator had Java as inspiration, Brandon Icke had to make JavaScript way less complex in order for web designers to be able to achieve animations and micro-interactions easily and in no time. Furthermore, JavaScript has been built in a very short period of time, which led to the creation of a very basic language that lacked in terms of features, and one of the most important of those features that the language has missed was code modularization. That was the case for years until CommonJS was introduced in January 2009 under the name of Server.js, followed by the release of Node.js in May of the same year. Having said that, CommonJS had what the regular browser JavaScript had been lacking for a long time, which is a module system, which is based on the exports object to create a module and the require function to import it. Luckily, there were developers who have seen an opportunity to bring that feature to the front-end JavaScript through what it's called a module bundler. Hence, module bundlers such as Browserify and RequireJS were created to fulfill that need of a module system by borrowing it from CommonJS. Fast forward to 2015, which is the year of the ES6 release, the specification included a new module system based on the import and export statements. However, web browsers weren't ready yet for such a new feature, so there was a need for some sort of a compiler to convert those statements into pre-ES6 code, and again, the solution was nothing other than a bundler equipped with a plugin called Babel. Nowadays, most browsers have full support of ES6 and port and export included, yet bundlers are still one of the most essential tools for JavaScript developers because they are used to convert newer versions of ECMAScript, aka ESNext, which take time before they can be fully supported by a long range of browsers. In addition to that, bundlers have been evolving to achieve more than just transpiling ESNext syntax, but also do other operations such as code minification, compiling CSS preprocessor's code into regular CSS, tree shaking, which basically means importing only the used parts of a module to minimize the size of the bundle, etc. A bundler works this way, it basically takes a bunch of files, they are JavaScript modules mostly, but they also can be TypeScript files, CSS, SAS, images, etc. Then the bundler applies some transformations on the data collected from those called entry points using plugins. A plugin is an extension to a bundler that does a certain functionality, like Babel for example which transpiles ESNext syntax or other plugins that compress CSS and JavaScript code. Then, the result of the transformation is a JavaScript file that holds everything which an app needs to work, or a module that could be utilized to create another one. A task runner is essentially a software that does a repetitive task automatically. Examples of repetitive tasks are reloading the page each time you update your code, compilation of SAS into regular CSS code, bundling which we have been talking about, files compression, unit testing, etc. Having said that, bundlers and task runners work alongside, so back in the days you'd see JavaScript developers combining a task runner such as Gulp with a bundler like Browserify for instance. However, bundlers such as Parcel or Webpack have been taking over task runners as for now you can actually ditch a task runner because there are enough plugins that make Webpack for example a bundler and a task runner at the same time, which means less tooling for the same amount of job done. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.